The Tesla Cybertruck is undeniably one of the most polarizing vehicles in the history of pickup trucks. However, Tesla is not the only one attempting to take a stab into the massive pickup truck industry. In this video, we're going to compare the upcoming pickup trucks to the Cybertruck and determine whether or not they stand a chance at becoming one of the best selling pickup trucks. The most prized pickup trucks of them all, the Ford Ice F-150 has been a major hit for consumers. However, after seeing all the upcoming EV pickup trucks, Ford just had to create one of their own. The electric Ford F-150 looks almost identical to the Ford F-150. This proves that Ford doesn't want to take risks with this pickup truck. This electric pickup truck specs are largely unknown, but one thing for sure is that the truck will have an extremely large torque. As demonstrated when the electric Ford F-150 pulled 10 double-decker freight carts through a thousand feet of track. As of today, we don't know the range, 0-60 to 60 time, or even the starting price of the electric Ford F-150. So it still seems as if the pickup truck is still in speculation territory. Atlas is a company that many of you may not have heard of, but it's certainly looking to be a large player in the industry of EV pickup trucks. In December of 2019, Atlas announced that it had $1 billion in reservations and investments to help develop and ramp up the Atlas XT pickup truck in 2020. The pickup truck has what Atlas calls a skateboard chassis with a four-wheel drive and four independent motors. The Atlas XT pickup truck is looking to have a starting price of just $45,000 and has an impressive driving range that spans from 300 to 500 miles depending on the version of the pickup truck. Along with the high range, the XT pickup truck also has a payload capacity ranging from 1,000 pounds to 5,000 pounds and a towing capacity of 6,000 to 17,000 pounds. To put this into perspective, the Cybertruck has a towing capacity of 7,500 to 14,000 pounds and a driving range of 250 to 500 miles. The XT pickup truck will contain a 125 kilowatt hour battery pack, one of the largest in the market. Despite the massive size of the battery pack, Atlas claims that the pickup truck will fully charge in just 15 minutes. The truck will come in two bed sizes of 6.5 and 8 feet of space, whereas the Cybertruck will come only with 6.5 feet of space. The specs on the XT pickup truck seem extremely promising, but with everyone on the edge of the seats, the question is, will Atlas be able to fulfill its high-reaching promises? The Bollinger B2 pickup truck is finally expected to start production this year, 2020. The B2 pickup truck is certainly one of its kinds with a massive 120 kilowatt hour battery pack delivering 612 horsepower. Because of its high horsepower, the B2 pickup truck can go from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. However, the pickup truck has an electronically limited top speed of just 100 miles. Along with this, the truck lacks on its driving range with a range of just 200 miles. The B2 will have a 5,000 pound payload and extremely high ground clearance. All of this comes at a massive price tag of $125,000. For the specs of the vehicle, the price just doesn't seem to be worth it, as a pickup truck is worth two times more than the most expensive Cybertruck. Rivian, an electric startup well known within the EV industry, was founded in 2009 by Robert R.J. Scaring, a mastermind with a master's and PhD degree in mechanical engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. After going under the covers for 10 years, R.J. Scaring revealed the pickup truck he was working on for such a long period of time, the Rivian R1T. The company has been a fan favorite of the richest CEOs, with Jeff Bezos ordering 100,000 electric delivery vans 
from Rivian in a $700 million investment. Along with Bezos, the company also received a $500 million investment from Ford and a $350 million investment from Cox Automotive. The Rivian R1T will come in three different versions. The first version, the cheapest model, starts at $69,000 and contains a 105 hour battery pack. The vehicle will be able to go from 0 to 60 in a stunning 4.9 seconds. The Rivian R1T will contain four independent electric motors and will offer a driving range of 230 miles. The second version, the performance Rivian R1T will have a massive 135 kilowatt hour battery pack, allowing the vehicle to go from 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds. The driving range of the performance version is estimated to be around 300 miles. Finally, the long range version of the Rivian R1T, the one you've all been waiting for, contains an enormous 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. The size of this battery pack cannot be overstated. This ginormous battery pack will allow the R1T to have a range of 400 miles. Despite this high range, it still doesn't top the highest range of the Cybertruck of 500 miles, but it sure does come extremely close. The long range version of the R1T will have a 0 to 60 of 3.2 seconds and have a top speed of 125 miles per hour. We don't know the prices for the performance and long range version of the R1T yet, but with the starting price of $69,000, we are sure that the prices will come at an expensive cost. Overall, the R1T is a breathtaking pickup truck, but the price tag just doesn't come close to the Cybertruck. Workhorse is a startup that specializes in commercial transport that has recently been focusing on producing electric vehicles. Unlike many of the other companies on this list, Workhorse is publicly traded on NASDAQ with the ticker symbol of WKHS. The stock currently trades for just $2 a share, so if you really believe that the W15 pickup truck will be a success, you can bet some money on it for a cheap price. The Workhorse W15 pickup truck was originally going to be released in 2018, but has been delayed all the way until now and is expected to begin production sometime in 2020. The W15 will have a range of just 80 miles, but boasts an internal combustion engine that brings the total range to 310 miles. The truck will contain a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack which explains the extremely low electric range. The W15 will be able to tow up to 5,000 pounds, as the pickup truck has 460 horsepower. This relatively high horsepower will thrust the W15 from 0 to 60 in just 5.5 seconds. All of this will cost you $52,000 to purchase. For the price tag, the W15 seems like a reach when you compare it to a vehicle like the Cybertruck. But ultimately, this explains the reason why Workhorse stock trades at such a low price. The Neuron T1 truck was revealed at around the same time as the Cybertruck, timing the hype train at the correct moment. This pickup truck is supposedly the first electric pickup truck built on top of a skateboard type platform. The T1 comes in two different versions, with one version having enough seats to fit six people and the other version having enough seats to fit just one person. Not much is known about the Neuron T1 specs, so the pickup truck still remains in speculation territory. However, the pickup truck is expected to start selling sometime in 2020. And once it does, we will see whether the truck specs matches with the Cybertruck. The company, Neuron, plans to start selling its vehicles in Hollywood along with Shanghai, which are both areas with lots of demand for electric vehicles. The aesthetics of the T1 are truly breathtaking, and if the company is able to deliver on its promising looks, the T1 could very well become a competitor to the Cybertruck. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and also comment down below because your feedback is greatly appreciated.